What's happening YouTube? Kite Planet here, or Kite if you're like that. Some people aren't like that, but I'm like that. Today I have for you Asta from Black Clover. Yes, let him tell the story and he's gonna be the future Wizard King. So we're gonna call him Asta the future Wizard King. According to him, I don't know. You know, you know the shoe in, but Asta's there. Okay, so we're going to be giving him powers from Jujutsu Kaisen. We're gonna put him in the JJK verse essentially he's gonna be like it, it was gonna be like he was born there so that's what we're going to do like and subscribe for me if you haven't if you're new i take characters from other series and give them powers from a different series and it's like a crossover thing so if you like that stuff like and subscribe these videos aren't doing well right now but you know slow motion better than no motion eventually they may get there also i want to do a collab with teching 101 bad man i feel like if we could collab on one of these type videos, doing a One Piece character or another character, giving him a devil fruit or something, I I, enjoy, I, I think his insight's pretty good. And so that's my hope one day. So Tekken, if you see this, let's let's work on something. You probably won't see this, but I gave it a try. So yeah, let me, just, let me just get right into it. I'm not gonna waste any more time. So I was thinking, what power should I give Asta? At first I wanted to give him a heavenly restriction because he is the embodiment of what a heavenly restriction should be. He has no magic in his own verse. Well, he has anti-magic, but y'all know why he has anti-magic. It's not his. So I was like, heavenly restriction's perfect. But I was like, nah, nah, that's not fun. We gotta give him a curse technique. So he does have a curse technique, but I am going to involve the heavenly restriction. So according to the lore of my story for this video, Asta in the Jujutsu Kaisen verse was born of two parents that both possessed a heavenly restriction. Yes. So I don't think that interferes with the fact that he has the curse technique. You don't heavenly restrictions aren't passed down best passed down through bloodlines. I'm not, I don't think. Well, I mean, according to Jujutsu Kaisen, they they are. If you look at the facts, to be honest, now I'm just now thinking about it. The only two people who have full heavenly restrictions are from the same clan. They possess the same blood, the Zenin clan, Maki and Toji. So if you think about it, heavenly restrictions kind of only exist in the Zenin clan. But that's a totally different video. That might be a members only type video. I might do that shit might be a long video, but it shouldn't interfere with this. What's strange though, is when Asta was in the womb of his mother, she made a binding vow unintentionally she did not mean to do this but she did it nonetheless when he was in her stomach just before he was about to be born she was praying and she prayed and said i pray that my son not be affected by the negative energy the cursed energy in this jujutsu world because she didn't like the jujutsu society society and the hierarchy and the higher ups and how the whole society was ran she didn't like it so she was like i pray he's not affected by the negative side of that but when you're making a binding vow, you have to be very careful with your word choice and how you say things and what that means later on down the line. So she said that and it affected Asta and how he was born. So when he was born, he's only able to wield positive energy because she took the negative aspect from him by doing that binding vow but in return they gave him positive energy and you know how you create positive energy reverse curse technique you take two sources of negative or cursed energy multiply them by themselves and they create a positive energy so two negatives make a positive asa's body naturally does this so he's only able to wield positive energy pretty cool i think it's it makes him sort of like how he is in black clover where he's the only one without magic now he's the only one with positive energy as his like base energy so yeah, there are obviously side effects. I mean, I wouldn't say side effects because side effects sounds negative, but due to his ability to only wield positive energy, he has insane healing. He has the best healing in the verse, better than ha Hakari, better than Gojo, better than Sukuna, better than Yuta, better than anybody because he wields positive reverse curse technique just naturally. So he's the best. And also he can heal others. Normally when you use reverse curse technique, you can heal yourself. And when you try to heal others, it only works 50%. It's only 50% as effective. But with Asta, it's 100% for him and 100% if he's trying to heal someone else. So that's the benefit of him being able to only wield positive energy. So pretty cool, right? All right, now let's get into the curse technique. He has a curse technique and it is called Kizen. What does Kizen do? 
What does Kizan do? Allow me to explain it to you. So Kizan allows him to concentrate his energy in his arm and launch out his energy forcefully, very forcefully. Like it's almost impossible to dodge. Only the people who are higher up in the verse of power scaling, like higher up on the power scale can dodge these attacks. And so say if he, it, it depends on the motion of his body part. So he can do this from any body part. So if he concentrates his positive energy in his arm and does a motion like this, it will create a slash. If he does like this, it'll create like a, just a burst of energy. And if he does like that, it'll create like a big burst, a wall of energy that's spread out further. They're not actual physical objects, but you can see them. So this is how they differ from something like cleave and dismantle. Yes, Asta can launch slashes and also their positive energy. So that's also another thing that makes them different, but they're visible. They just appear as in like, you know, when uh, Yuji was using divergent fists and he would curse energy his arm it looks like that so the slashes look like they're made of cursed energy you can see them so that's how they're different from cleave and dismantle also he can change the shape of them they aren't just slashes they can be a wall of this energy they can be a little like blunt object of this energy it's just energy and the shape is changed on uh depends on the motion he does with his hand that's the difference also he can split up the percentages of how much he concentrates so if he concentrates some in his arm and he makes a slash he can split that energy 50 50 and make two slashes that are 50 percent and he can split this down to whatever percentage he want if he does a slash or a kick or a blast of energy he can separate it and do however many ones he wants however many dip individual ones he wants they're just a small percentage of how much he conjured in that uh limb that appendage so if you're fighting him and you're dodging and he's been sending slashes and you can see them so you're dodging and then he decides to slash and you're you dodge but he sent three slashes each were uh siphoned off with 33.33 repeating of a hundred percent of how much he uh, concentrated in his arm you get sliced by one of those because you weren't expecting three different slashes you thought it was going to be one and so he can do stuff like that Pretty broken technique, and it doesn't work just because he has positive energy. You could do this with negative energy, but it just so happens that Asta wields positive energy. The technique is just taking whatever energy you have and being able to output it massively, and you can change it. Kind of like Ryu Ishigori's technique, where he can do the granite blast, but except Asta can change the shape of it, and therefore changing the nature of the damage it does, if that makes sense. That's what Kizen does. All right, so obviously he wields positive energy. So there's going to be side effects and differences, pros and cons to combining positive energy with Kizen because it's not going to be the same as combining Kizen with negative energy. So one thing is that Kizen is extremely fatal to cursed spirits. Why? Because they're comprised entirely of negative energy or cursed energy. And this positive energy kills them. It's just like the sort of extermination that Maharaga wields. Sukuna blocked it and was like, damn, if I was a cursed spirit, I'd be dead. I'd be one shot, essentially. So he can one shot cursed spirits because he can send slashes or bursts of energy at them. And if it touches them, it will mess, it will disrupt the structure of their body because they're made of cursed energy. A very dangerous ability for cursed spirits. He's perhaps the most proficient fighter when it comes to fighting just cursed spirits alone. But on the other hand, because of that exact same nature of the ability, he is weak against curse users. Curse users are just people who have innate techniques that are not affiliated with Jujutsu Tech. So they're not sorcerers. Sorcerer is like the professional title. You're like a basketball player and then a sorcerer would be a pro basketball player. You're just a street hooper. They have they get money and they do stuff for it. So curse users are just humans with techniques. I said that's just what all I'm trying to say. He can't harm them. Positive energy does not harm humans. So if he launches a slash that would cut a curse spirit, it would hit a human and not do any damage because it would it's positive energy. It may heal them if he intends to do so. So yeah, he's extremely weak against curse users. And yeah, if he they could easily beat him. If he gets in close and they can use their technique and he can't. So he, it would come down to like the physicals 
of him trying to beat them, but they can still use their cursed te technique and he'd be screwed. But he does have a technique of Kizan that disrupts cursed techniques. And this is what would is what would make him able to fight against cursed users if he could wield this but he cannot it is too hard for him he has not mastered it i'm trying to keep with the theme of who asta is asta is not this super smart guy he's not super proficient in wielding his energy he's not you know in his own he's not mary leona he's not nozel Fuegolion, yami he's not those guys julius nova chrono he's not good at wielding the power he has and he doesn't even have any and anti-magic has taken him forever to figure out what to do with it years in fact so i'm not gonna sit here and act like he can wield every technique but this application of keys and that disrupts curse techniques is too hard for him to wield for a specific reason because if you put too little positive energy into it it will not do anything the the positive energy will hit the technique disrupt dissipate and it won't do anything to that technique if you put too much, it will enhance the technique. So you'll make your opponent's attack stronger and he'll probably kill you for doing that. And so the trade-off just isn't worth it. He doesn't want to risk making his opponent stronger and putting himself at a bigger disadvantage. So he just doesn't use that technique. And the reason for that is he hasn't he hasn't figured out the discrepancy in the power exchange. Because think about it, positive energy is not the same as negative energy. To create positive energy, you have to take negative energy, multiply it by itself, by those two different sources, and you'll get positive energy. And so if you had two spheres of energy, one positive, one negative, the positive would have way more energy because you have to have way more negative energy to create positive energy. It's kind of like exchanging currency. A dollar is not worth, one dollar is not the same as one euro. There's a uh currency discrepancy the amount it's not an equal exchange you have to give more of one of the other to equal that one if that makes sense so there's more negative energy in the same amount as as positive energy and he hasn't figured out that discrepancy which is why he can't wield this technique that dispenses or dis uh disperses curse techniques but when he does figure out that discrepancy in the amount of positive in relation to negative he'll be able to uh, dissipate techniques and then get in close and fight so yeah those are that's the applications of keys and of his curse technique but that is not all he has because if that was all he had he'd be extremely vulnerable to humans and curse users in general they'd be able to kill him pretty easily since he can't damage them unless he's just punching them and punching them is not going to work because they have curse techniques so asta possesses a special weapon he has a special sword a cursed a special cursed tool and it's special grade so it's a special grade cursed tool and it's one of the four universal blades according to my lore that i've created there are four universal blades two of which we know nothing about we don't know where they're at they got lost in antiquity so these four blades from antiquity two of them got lost and two of them we do know where they're at asta has one and Maharaga has the other. Yes, the Sword of Extermination is a universal blade. So I don't know who created them, but they were very famous in their time period or whatever, and they got passed down. Maharaga ended up getting one somehow, and now Asta got one. So what does this sword do? But first we need to name, name the sword. The name of the sword is the Sword of Construction. And what does it do? It is imbued with the curse technique that creates constructs out of negative energy it's a regular it's not like the sort of extermination which is all positive energy this one's regular it has negative energy it has cursed energy and it has a cursed technique imbued into it what it does is it creates constructs so out of cursed energy if you swing it and imagine something it'll create that so if you imagine like a a, a brick wall or a wall or a cube of just mass of metal or something it will happen like it will create itself and you can throw it at somebody with that slash but it's not an omniscient or not it's not an omnipotent ability if someone's using more output of cursed energy and punches the construct it will crumble so it the construct depends on the amount of cursed energy you put into the weapon so it, it's it's defeatable normally but now when asta wields it because asta cannot wield negative energy so he shouldn't be able to pick it up it's sort of sort of like how cursed spirits can't touch the sword of extermination because it will 
disrupt their the integrity of their body because they're negative energy. Asta can't wield it due to his binding vow that was put upon him by his parents. How does he do this? What he does is he envelops it in positive energy. And this creates a, a curse technique reversal. If you don't know what curse technique reversal is, I'll explain it to you. It's different from reverse curse technique. Reverse curse technique is creating positive energy. It's just creating the energy, the positive energy. Whereas curse technique reversal is taking that positive energy you created with reverse curse technique and applying it to an existing curse technique. So for example, let's use Gojo. Gojo uses laps blue. That's the first technique he gets with limitless. It's the easiest one to do. So he creates that laps blue by creating a negative distance and everything has to go into it. It creates a black hole essentially and pulls everything into it. And so that's blue. Well, in order to create red, he has to apply curse technique reversal by applying positive energy to this technique, thereby reversing or therefore reversing the effects of the technique. So it did pull everything in. Now red pushes everything away, repulsion. So that's how curse technique reversal is. You apply it to your technique and it reverses the effects. So Asta does this by a applying positive energy to the sword's curse technique that already exists. And then he's able to wield it and it reverses what the curse technique does. Since it creates constructs, it now erases matter. It deconstructs. So basically, Asta now has a sword that erases matter, physical matter. It does not dissipate cursed energy. It does not affect or interact with cursed energy. So he cannot cut cursed spirits down with this weapon like it won't affect them because they're uh <clears throat> they're not matter they're cursed energy and i know you want to you can say cursed uh energy is matter but for this instance we're going to say it's not physical matter so it only interacts with physical matter so now if you're a human or cursed user you can't get in close to Austin because he will kill you in one shot if he hits you in the right spot like if he slashes across your chest like it'll erase your heart and everything that it just touched and he'll, he can chop off your arm. And it's not like decay from my hero where he slices something or touches it and it just continues to decay. It's just wherever he get slashes, it erases. And so he's extremely dangerous right now. Let me know what you think of this ability. Leave a like if you like what I gave him. Kizen is his curse technique and he's able to concentrate his energy, his positive energy. If he had negative energy, he'd work with that too, but he wields positive energy. He's able to concentrate it manipulate the percentages into different slashes with one swing it's also visible but it's very explosive they go way faster than sakuna slashes it's just the fact that sakuna slashes are invisible so they hit most of the time if you're fast enough you can dodge astas but not a lot of people are fast enough to dodge it and he also possesses a universal blade called the sword of construction that erases matter i just imagine fighting asta and you're fighting him and he swings the sword and you go to block and it just erases your arm, it erases the matter between your arm that was connecting it and your arm plops on the ground. You're like, bro, what is that? And so it's just a super broken ability. I really like it. And I like the fact that he wields positive energy. Yeah, leave a like on this video and subscribe if you like this ability. I'm, I, I really like this. Um, yeah, I do. I think this is good for Asta. It's not broken. Like, think if he was fighting like Gojo, he can't use his sword. The sword does not dissipate cursed energy. So if he was fighting Gojo, Gojo has infinity. He can't cut through infinity with the sword, but he can cut through Gojo if he hits him. So the only way for him to beat Gojo is to finally master the, the application of Kizen that allows him to dissipate techniques. So he'd be able to do a slash or a burst of energy just output his energy in any way once it hits infinity it will dissipate infinity and then he can attack gojo but he has to be combat efficient enough he has to be experienced enough to do that and then get in close and i think fighting against gojo he just wouldn't be able to do that in quick quick enough succession succession to land those hits consecutively so i think gojo would always be like oh like you got through it but whoop it's right back you can't do anything about it so you have to get real in really close and then kind of like do both which I think would be too hard because Gojo is going to be launching attacks. But I don't think Gojo can use Infinity and his attacks at the same time. I don't think that's possible. Let me know if I'm mistaken on that. But I don't think he can use Infinity and Blue or Red or Purple. 
I don't think that's possible. I may be mistaken, but yeah. So he'd probably lose to uh, Sukuna as well. Oh, which brings me to my next point. I didn't give Asta a domain expansion because I don't think he needs one. Like his ability's already broken enough. He can, if he learns that Kizen thing to dissipate techniques, he can destroy your domain in one shot from the inside using his positive energy. And that would be that. And Asta is just not, like I said, he's not the intellectual type. He's not very familiar with his powers in in his show. So I'm not going to make him familiar with it in here. Yes, he knows his powers now, but he had to be taught by somebody. That's that's a stupid argument. I'm not going to say that because everybody has to be taught. But he's just not smart like that. And so if Megami can't even figure out how to do his domain yet, I don't think Asta would be smart enough to be able to create a domain either. I think he's more on the level of like Yuji and Yuji doesn't have a domain unless he pulls one out of his ass in the next couple chapters, which I, w I wouldn't put that past it. It may happen. Maybe not. He didn't pull it out of his ass, but they trained and they cheated somehow. So he may have a domain according to uh, Yuji. I mean, Yuta. So yeah, I would think Asa would be more Yuji's mindset. He wouldn't have a domain expansion, so I'm not gonna give him a domain expansion. But if you do want to see a domain expansion from Asta, uh, I'll set a light goal. I'll set a ridiculous light goal. Like if this video gets 400 likes, probably won't. I'll do a domain expansion, go all out, and do something crazy. But hopefully, I hate to wish bad upon my own video, but I don't want to do that because then I have to go into my bag of uh, hidden techniques that I have hidden abilities that I've created and saved for later. I probably have to give Asta one of them, but yeah, 400 likes and I'll do a domain expansion for Asta. But yeah, I like this ability. Let me know your thoughts on it. Leave a like. If you like this ability, subscribe and obviously drop other characters or other power systems that you want to see. And I will do my best to get to them and construct abilities for them. This is a little secret tidbit information. When I create these, I don't, it's never the first thing that I come up with. I come up with like eight different things or like seven or six different powers. And then I subtly pick things from them and create one. Some abilities that I create, I'm like, this is too good. Like I need to save this in case I create my own manga or I decide to do a series of my own story on YouTube. I have to save some abilities. So yeah, I have a lot of abilities stored up that are pretty damn cool that I'd like to share one day. I just can't right now because you know, who knows what's in, what's in the cards for me. But yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Damn.